What is going on guys? This is your boy Mr. 75 Capiz here with another video. And can y'all guess where I'm at today? Well I'm back here already. Y'all guess where? That's right guys, we are at Ace Mobile Wash picking up the land out that he already did it. That was pretty quick. But he did say next week. So today is Monday. Uh, so we're gonna go in here, check it out. I'm excited to look at it. He sent me a couple pictures of like comparison like left and right side and you can see the difference. So I'm excited to see it. I know y'all excited to see it. So we're gonna walk in there and see what all he did to it and see how it looks. So y'all ready? Let's go walk in here and see how it looks. All right, I see Pops working. Now where is A? I know y'all keep asking about what, what they doing to the Honda. Don't worry guys, I'll ask what they doing to the Honda. But I think this is their personal car, so they're just fixing it up. But we will ask them for y'all. Man, Pop is getting down. Huh, wonder where Ace is at. Let's go see if we can find them. Uh, here he is. What you doing? Picking up garbage? Yeah, bro. Been working, we're barely getting all these cars out. Finally, finally slowing down a little. We got a lot to clean up. <laughs> what you working on today, this? Uh, yeah, Porsche, Porsche Panamera GTS. It's a nice one. We just got wrapped. Um, I believe it just came out the wrap shop really like days ago, I guess. He wanted a ceramic coat to clean the inside. So you wrapped the. Uh, you you ceramic coated the wrap? Yeah, yeah. I put a three year coating on there. Still got to do a little touches, but for the most part, it's done. The rest I got to clean up a little shit like that. Yeah, wrap over the wrap. Came out with it. Full inside detail too, so still gotta condition everything, but it's in the works. Came in a little dirty. It was dirty? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. We drove it here through the rain too, so it was all. You know, who, who, who wrapped it? You know who wrapped it? I don't, bro. He has sent me a picture, and in the background it says something about it's wrap. ITC oh, wrap. It's a wrap. Oh, yeah, that. that yeah, yeah. Like I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen them do a couple cars, but I'm not sure what their actual... actual yeah, he wrapped a couple of the guys' cars. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, that's... That's, that's who wrapped it? Yeah. Is this supposed to be, like, what is that thing called? Uh, it's Carbon the, Forge? Yeah, yeah. Or whatever it's called. Yeah. I, might, I might be saying the wrong I was trying to think of the name, too. Yeah. I, Ain't I, it? That's what it is. Uh, something. I just know it's, it's a different style. Forge Carbon or yeah. Carbon Forge? Something like that. Yeah. I always hear, like, CJ and uh, all the people from Supercars are saying the thing. Forge yeah. Carbon, I think. Isn't it? We might have to put Forge Carbon in the old school. <laughs> Switch it up, for real. Yeah, right? Something new. So, being a wrap, does it make it easier to ceramic coat it? Or you... No, technically no. This one, he just, he came in strictly just to ceramic coat it, but realistically, it would come in and get the same the same process as a, as a painted car. It would, the wrap could still get buffed, it could still get everything polished uh, like a normal car and it gets ceramic coated. So even after like they install the wrap, you gotta you can polish it. Yeah, yeah, you could polish it like a normal car. And it brings it back more shine or not? Yeah, for yeah. real? Yeah, I've done I've done a few tops. You know how people get the black top oh, yeah. all the time. People come in all the time and they get the top buffed out because it's wrapped. And you know, wrap after a certain time it gets faded, it gets dull, it gets ugly. It just gets scratches. So, I bring, I mean, you don't get obviously the same results. You're not gonna get the same, you know, what I'm saying, reflection or get all the scratches out. But, you definitely do get that shine yeah, He's tinted, tinted up. Yeah. See, I didn't know you can buff wrap. Well, actually, I mean, I tried it before on a, one of my previous cars, but that's because it was mine. You know, yeah. I don't, I'm not scared to try stuff on my yeah, stuff. Yeah. But I never knew, like, you know, I mean, you figure that this is brand new. It's probably just gonna be ready to yeah. be. Then you would think, but no, because realistically, when they're putting on the wrap, you know how they're using the tools to flatten it down. Yeah, the squeegees. So that's like. Realistically, if you're thinking about it, if you're going to do that to a painted car, and you're putting scratches on it. So that's oh. the same thing with a wrap. If you're doing that, you're putting scratches on it. But wouldn't it be easier like to like burn it? Since it's like plastic? Depending what machines you use. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you're using like a big rotary and you sit there for a little too long, you'll go right through it. Wow. But I kind of treat it the same as paint. Try to stay away from the edges and whatnot. I mean, they, they were asking in the comment section, bro. They, they just want to know. That what's up with the Honda? 
Oh. <laughs> man, I, I gotta ask man. cause they, they wanna know. They say, hey man, all I wanna know is what are they so, doing with the Honda? Honda bro. So funny story with that. That car was actually here up the street. Uh, I seen it for sale in somebody's driveway. And, you know, besides the detailing and whatnot, I obviously still do my thing. I try to buy cars all the time and whatnot. So I seen this one parked up down the street. Good price, whatever. Bought it, brought it here. Uh, we cleaned it up and everything. I had a customer here. He was ready to buy it. He had the cash right here, and I forgot that this guy didn't sign the title. So it was literally up the street, bro. So I'm driving to get the title signed. And as I'm coming back with the title, bro, literally right here at the at like two stop signs down the timing belt. Snap. Oh. <laughs> so we brought it here, and I'm just, I, we got everything, but we've been so busy, so I'm not even worried about that car, but it's, we're fixing the timing belt. <laughs> so it's a personal, personal. is there a personal car? Yeah. And they also flip cars, so yeah, that's yeah, what he's I, saying. I, I, it was a flipper car. He had it ready and broke back. down on the day that it was supposed to be sold. Yeah, we got everything right there. Water pump, new timing belt. I'm waiting on the, I got to get the, what is it, crankshaft sensor and the tensioner. And that's it. But yeah, there you that's the funny story about the Honda. There y'all have it. Y'all were wondering. <laughs> It's their car. And it is going to be for sale once it's done. <laughs> so I seen Paz watching this when we got here. I know y'all seen the video earlier. I mean the video. I know y'all seen me showing y'all earlier he was watching this and now he's prepping it. What is this going to get? Uh, this one's getting a full detail. The guy said he's actually giving this to his son uh, for Christmas. So he wants to Oh, uh, so it's got to be presentable. Yeah, it has to be presentable. Uh, he said he had it sitting for a little bit, fixed all the mechanical stuff. Now he wants it to look good. Yeah, see, oh, this is going to come right off. <laughs> This is, this is just water dripping from the rust, so it drips. The bubbles won't come off, but the yellow will come off. Yeah, it'll shine. <laughs> and the reason they put tape is from having the plastic, you know, y'all see them plastic with all the white on it, and you can't take it off because they burn the compound on the plastic. That's why they put pla uh, tape on it, to prevent that from happening, you know? That's presentation right there. You gotta do that. That's why y'all be seeing them cars with all that compound in the edges. That's the one, that's the hundred dollar detail. Man, like and it's hard to take off. I man, I used to do that for a shop. Like uh, they used to paint all the cars, and compound would be everywhere. They'll bring it to me so I can uh, clean all the compound. Oh, every single crack. You know what the scary part about that was? It didn't. Uh, it did happen to me once. <laughs> um, that if they didn't prep the car right, and you're using the pressure washer, it can. Uh, Flake the paint off. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I always be like, man, don't let it happen. And it happened once. Because <laughs> why? Because I thought it was a piece of dirt, and it wasn't. It was actually like a paint chip. Oh. So true. what happened? The paint just went true. bloop. Yeah. It's like yeah. Yep. But you know, good thing is a paint shop, so they can just fix they it. Fix but it right away, yeah. ever since that, man, I rather just double check before I just sit there with the pressure. Like man, it's not coming off. <laughs> Bam. Right. I don't know, man, but I think they're ready to see this, man. So. Another question that they asked was, what is what is paint correction? Paint correction. So, I mean, a lot of people have different, different terms. Meaning, terms for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So paint correction can go a lot of different ways. You could go with the simple paint correction, which is like basically what we do a lot. Of. Simple paint correction would just be any big, in our eyes at least, in our, you know, to us, our paint, our paint corrections, any big chips that we see on the car, we'll try to fix them up, like front end usually have bigger chips and stuff like that, but that's just really when the customer tells us, like, hey, you know, we need this, this, and that, but for the most part, paint correction to us is just bringing the paint back to life, you're correcting the paint and just getting rid of soil scratches and trying to get the most shine out of it, but paint correction, I've always told everybody, people have different meanings for it. You can go different ways with it. A lot of people see it as correcting it and fixing all the chips and whatnot. It just really depends what the customer wants. But paint correction, mostly for the most part, it's a buff. You're bringing your paint back to the right. It's a buff job, but it yeah. just, you know. You can go deeper with it. Basically. We're just calling it that because it's just a better term to be using yeah. it as paint correction. I mean, some people call it a uh, three-stage buff. So, yeah. you know, you do your compound, your polish, and your wax. Yeah. Your ceiling, you know what I'm saying? So you can call it whatever. We just call it paint correction because, you know, it's just, it means like what it is, you know? Like you see yeah. this, there's no shine. Yeah. So after he does whatever you want to call it, paint correction or three stage buff or after you buff it, you know? Some people come in and just ask for a wax, but they really mean a buff. Like, it, right, a wax is just like, you know, <laughs> hands, wax, wax on and wax, wax off, you know? <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, but yeah, because imagine me telling y'all like, all right, guys, he's gonna buff this with the compound, then he's gonna hit it with a polish, then he's gonna hit it with a wax, <laughs> then he might hit it with a ceramic coating to coat the. So it's just, you know, we just say paint correction because it's just one and all. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but let's show them this car, man, because I don't think they want to hear us talk. So. Yeah, right. They ready? ready. Uh, where should we start off, man? I'm just going to show them from the back to the front and work our way up. First, we, first we're just going to show them the logo. That's the man right there. If y'all haven't followed him on Instagram, there's his Instagram. Go follow him so y'all can see his job that he did and the amazing things that he did to these cars. I seen previous that he just did a car, they had a big scratch and he fixed that, so. All right, here's the land out, guys. Bam. See, bro, I told you that Don makes miracles. <laughs> it does miracles, bro. Now you can see a reflection of the paint. Thing came out super slick. It came out nice, bro. And you, like, like you said, when you dropped it off, as soon as we washed it, we started seeing a little bit of shine on it. Like you said, it was just a lot of shit that was sitting on it from, from the car sitting itself. But once we started putting machines to it, I had tagged you in a picture, and man, this thing was good. Yeah, that's what I was telling them, that you had sent me a process, a progress picture about how you did half and half, and you can see the big difference. Man, this yeah. thing looks nice. I was telling my dad, I was like, I don't think I ever wanted one of these cars, but now I do. <laughs> hey, you know, some people in the comments are just be like, I don't like box shades, but after, keep, you know, I keep seeing you post them. I gotta show y'all motivation. Y'all gotta come. Y'all gotta get one of these cars, man. Yep. Don't let the paint scare you. Just bring it. Right. <laughs> you ever see a car that looks like it could be both? Just bring it. I know. Don't think that it, that you know everything can be fixed. Well, everything could be fixed, but don't just go buy an, uh, really a rust bucket thinking age is gonna do miracles. <laughs> right? Yeah, I don't, do, I don't get rid of rust. <laughs> I'll probably make the rust shine a little bit. That's about it. Yeah, they did the they hit the interior. I told them don't do don't to go don't go too crazy in the seats because we do got some leather seats that we bought. Uh, I just didn't have I haven't showed y'all, but we are gonna be replacing the seats because besides the seats, yeah, it, it, look at the dash is clean, yeah, no cracks, nice. carpet's nice, headliner's brand new. literally just asking for wheels <laughs> wheels yeah but you know i don't know i like it bro. I, I like the way it looks right now it, do, it does look good i don't like it i always miss now, now like every time i bring your car bro and you buff it or, or whatever you can see the dings i didn't <laughs> see those dings before now you can see them <laughs> I only wanted the paint to be shown, <laughs> not the dings. I'm gonna start skipping over with that. Yeah, man, those gotta like fade. They put leather conditioning on the top too. You now you gotta protect the new material. You did the, you hit the motor too? You wanna show them the motor? Yeah. What y'all think, gang? Did Ace do a good job? I mean, it's got some scratches. Those ain't gonna come off, you know. Those are deep down. But overall, this thing is shiny. Nice, clean Lando. Now it's gonna be hard to keep this or the LS Broham. <laughs> that is gonna be hard. Especially once you put the leather seats, I bet you gonna like it a little more. It's gonna be a tough one. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put both of them side by side and make my decision. <laughs> I see make, that three or five shiny. Make your decision after I buff the other one. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. The other one don't look like it need a buff, man. But, you know, he still insists that he wants to do it. <laughs> you already know the process. I'll probably come and after seeing this one tinted with the black on black, it looks nice. I was going to tell you that. What? Tint? Uh, oh, I am. I am. I, like I said, I, de I never used to tint old schools. This is actually my first old school I ever tinted. Um... 
Not saying that I never tinted. I did. I'm not gonna lie now that I did tint it. My first car I ever tinted was an '87 box Chevy. It was a full top Broham, but that's how I learned how to tint. Like I did it with myself, but that's the only reason because I wanted to learn how to tint. Yeah. But I'm saying me actually taking a car to get tinted. This is my first car ever, old school to get tinted. So, but after seeing this black on black, it just looked nice. I like it. So I gotta bring the other one to get tinted and put some white walls to see the white walls make a lot of a huge difference on the old school yeah. i don't know i like i like i just like the look man i like this car bro. it's very presidential yeah you can just drive it anywhere people are gonna be like giving you thumbs up <laughs> yeah or pulling you over one or the other or game bang at you <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna go yeah there's three it has to go another way yep <laughs> nah man you did your thing on it bro that's it we're trying See people, y'all need to stop going to the three other car washes. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> nah, but then, then how are they gonna bring you the cars? Yeah, yeah. You know, see. that's how the cycle works. You know, they go put some scratches, then they hit you up. They see them in the sun. Oh my god. Yeah, right. Like what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened is you went to a three other car wash. Twice a week. <laughs> no, they went after all these uh, work trucks. They run their uh, oh, yeah. construction trucks that have all this rock, sand from the construction stick on and they get stuck to the <laughs> brushes in the car wash and then here comes you yep. and getting swirls and scratches. <laughs> Yeah, I never feel those, those are probably the worst cars. When they come in with car wash scratches, bro, I hate it. I hate it. I would rather deal with towel scratches than any other scratches, but car wash scratches are the worst. Yeah, I'm happy, bro. I want to just drive it, but I don't know if y'all remember, it was leaking brake fluid. <laughs> Did the brakes uh, feel squishy? Uh, yeah, a little bit. A little yeah. That's the only thing with A's, bro. Uh, I mean, guys, he breaks uh, brake lines. <laughs> hey, man, you said it in the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've had cars in here a little bit worse. They'd be scared me, bro. Some old schools would come in here. Yeah, I get... me almost smash into walls all types of shit. I just can't stop looking at it. It just looks, it looks nice. nice. But you know what? Then again, it's like you really don't see no Landau uh, out there like this. Yeah, you don't. I was, yeah, that's exactly what I thought about. Like, I don't, I don't remember the last time I seen one on the street and driving, like, I actually live in the street. Yeah. Land, I was in bed, you see them in general. In general, yeah. yeah. I mean, now I see them more because on wheels, but when do you see an OG land out, just be like, hey, look at that land out. Well, here I see one. You got one right here, gang. All right, man, well, we're going to check out this video, man. Anything you want to say, bro? Yeah, he got some. Uh, you got some openings this week, right? Yeah, yeah, I got openings this week. Um, I take walk-ins. You don't even gotta let me know. We're here at eight to six on weekdays and Saturdays. We're here at eight to four. Sundays we're closed. So if you guys need anything, anything from a car wash, interior detail, vacuum, whatever it is, I don't care what it is, we can do it. <laughs> What's your address? Uh, 1301 Armitage Avenue, Melrose Park, and we're at Unit B. Yep, y'all see it. They might have the door closed because it is cold. So y'all just gotta knock on the door. Don't try to beat. <laughs> they probably ain't gonna hear you. Yeah, knock, nice, whatever. I got my camera usually lets me know when someone pulls up too, so I'll try to come out. But whenever you, whatever you guys need, people, you, I get the question a lot. If you need an appointment to come get a car wash, uh, you don't. You don't need an appointment to come get a car wash. You can pull up and get a car wash anytime. So y'all see that? No appointment needed. Don't think that people get VIP treatment. Everybody's treated the same. Just pull up. There's no appointment needed. I mean, you do need an appointment for like pain correction. Yeah. Uh, just Obviously. because you got to put you in the schedule. Yeah. But besides that, if you want to uh, hand wash or something quick, just pull up and he'll take care of you if he's not busy like doing something. So yeah. at the same time, it doesn't mean there's not there won't be a line in front of you. Yeah. But just pull up and... And if you if you think that uh, if you're concerned of him being busy, just send him a text on Instagram. Yeah, I see you right there. Whatever it is. Ace it's Mobile true. Wash. And I think he does reply. You do reply? Yeah, I reply. Okay, he does reply. <laughs> if I don't message me again, then I will. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, bro. Well, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, next stop, I think it's gonna be a mechanic. I want to fix the brake and then put the leather seats. 
And then I gotta fix them. Keep up with this. Man. I wanna see how this yeah, I wanna. I'm gonna do the comparison and see which one I'm gonna keep, man. It's gonna be the yeah. two door or the bot, the four door. So let's hope. Right now it's tough, but we'll see. I know which one I like so far. <laughs> and we're gonna wait. I gotta see both of them next to each other, and yeah. then I'll make my decision. But yeah, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that. And if y'all ain't subscribed, you guys better subscribe because we're gonna have a face off with the 86 Landau and the 89 LS Broham. All right, adios. <laughs>